Wyala in South Australia is a town built on steel. Iron ore has been mined in the nearby hills since 1900 and the first blast furnace was constructed in 1941 to supply shipbuilders and railways. But the heyday of heavy industry in Australia is long gone and Wyala is the country's last producer of structural steel, which is needed for all big construction projects. Earlier this year, Arium, the company that owns it, went into administration, and now Wyala is facing a future without the industry that has been its beating heart for 75 years. We are totally dependent on our steel industry and our mining industry. You're looking at a population of 24,000 people, most of which are tied up with the steel industry or the service industries to service the people who work there. So we are a, 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 a steel town. That's what we're all about. Without steel, without mining, we're finished. Ariam is now in the hands of administrators who are slashing costs, seeking government aid and trying to tart the business up to attract an investor. The administrators have appointed Morgan Stanley to, to sell the Ariam One Steel business. They are looking to the global marketplace but with a particular emphasis on Asia. It won't be an easy sell. Australia is an expensive country with high labour costs, even if unions agree to the suggested 10% pay cut. That's because the problem is global. Massive overcapacity in Chinese steel mills built up during the decades-long economic boom means now cheap steel is flooding the global market. Wyala isn't alone. The steelworks in Port Talbot in the UK is facing the threat of closure for the same reasons, high energy costs and cheap Chinese steel. The uncertainty is taking its toll in Wyala, where house prices and retail sales have slumped. Ron Hay, a former Wyala steel worker and now president of the Chamber of Commerce, says Wyala isn't even considering the prospect that the steelworks will actually close. Look, the impact is something, as we say, we, we really don't like thinking about because it's not on our agenda. Um, but the studies that have been done have actually indicated that a dollar value from an uh, uh, unemployment point of view and monies around that would be in the billions for a welfare uh, payout. And that would be continuous. There would also be billions if the site was to close and there had to be remedial work done on that. That would be billions. The question is whether the federal government agrees that keeping its remaining industrial capacity and rescuing this small town is worth the cost. Jamie Smith, Financial Times, Wyala.